Welcome back to the WASD Benchmark channel. Last year we were not very active and I was not able to follow everything that was happening in the hardware world. So we got three graphics cards from Asus. We will do unboxings, reviews and everything that goes with it. I can't wait to get back to testing them. This enthusiasm lasted until I saw this and then it got even bigger. The graphics card doesn't have PCIe power cables. So what now? As we were in a big hurry to test both the graphics card and the phone, we need 7 days for a product. If you want a detailed review, I put the graphics aside, but the idea of how to install this graphics card and the only difference is that we don't have a power slot, we have an extra small PCIe slot, so I was convinced it had something to do with the power supply. The days went by and it was the turn of the TUF RTX 40s 70T Super graphics card, which I know is an excellent chip. And tough as tough is undoubtedly an excellent model. At least it has never failed. Let me do a little more research. After a bit of research, I come across the information that Asus has a completely new line that is unique in that it is called BTF, Back to the Future to be precise, a design with hidden power connectors. I'm still in a dilemma about how to power this graphics card and I find out that there are motherboards with a PCIe connector that only powers the card up to 600 watts and the connectors are on the back of the board. When I started to do some more research and saw that Asus had made a motherboard and a graphics card where you could install the whole system without any cables visible inside the computer, I had to roll my eyes. Is it possible to build a computer where the cables are completely invisible? It's been a long time since I've seen a change in the world of cabling like the one Asus has made. In discussions with representatives of the Asus company, it has been agreed to create a system in which we will be able to assemble a complete PC without a single visible cable. There will be a video about this soon. However, this system has its limitations. First of all, you need special motherboards and currently only Asus has them, two in the Z790 series and two B760 Micro, which means that we only have them for Intel processors and not for AMD, which doesn't mean that they won't be soon. For some reason, Asus has a habit of pushing the limits of the Intel platform. I guess they have better cooperation with each other, but it would be a shame to keep this only for Intel processors. These motherboards have all the connectors either to power certain parts of the computer or to make connections such as PWM connectors for fans, USB connectors, RGB headers, absolutely all the slots are on the back so not a single cable comes out on the visible part of the case. Fantastic. You also need a special case designed by Asus with the help of partners such as Thermaltake, Silverstone, Cooler Master, InWin, all of whom you can see on the screen. The case is specially designed for the BTF Alliance. While this is the first time we have seen a high-end card other than the RTX 4090 with this innovative design. I really like this design, I think it is not cheap, it will get cheaper, it will get more affordable and I think other companies will take this step. With this video, I just wanted to show you my enthusiasm for progress in the world of hardware which is getting smaller and smaller, but I am not surprised that Asus is once again the first to make a revolutionary change. This will surely become the standard but in a few years time. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you soon. Bye.